Oh, uh, too far away. Right, you come out here. Need to keep going. All the way out there. Um, have you seen this? See when I say, have you seen this? Do you know what I'm actually quoting? Um, I was watching Bid TV one night. Bid TV. There was always a constant rainbow over the bed. And the walls were always plain. And I remember I used to scribble on the wall and my father used to take off his leather belt. And I used to get, in those days, a good hiding. <laughs> and I never wrote on walls ever again. And it taught me a lesson, but I remember these barren walls that used to be in the bedroom, and it was rippled magnolia. We used to live... He's been funny. They were very thin. They were that thin you could dip your bread into next door soup. <laughs> the rooms were dead. <laughs> they had guttering on the inside. Oh, what a wonderful turn of phrase, you know? It used to be a hard time. And <laughs> get that your bread in next door soup. About how these plain walls had actually affected us of that generation. We had nothing to look at. We had nothing to play with. We didn't do or see anything that sparked our imagination. Not even Disney pictures were we allowed to have on the wall. And I suppose maybe we couldn't we couldn't afford them and. Maybe that's why those plain walls brought back, back many memories to me, because now in my house today, I've got many pictures I've drawn on the wall. I've kept the pictures. For your child to go hip hip hooray! There you are. I can hooray! We can there you go. Imagination. We can go to the stars. We can go to the moon. There you are. Let me do. Oh, I'm at the other side of the studio now. Right. Now. All right, viewers. So I was I was watching him okay, one night. Now. Let me. Just, has anybody seen me glasses? This was better than what was on the fucking table. What was that? 2010. Just over at nine inches in height. They'd look wonderful in a bathroom. They're lovely in a kitchen, okay? Now, I'm going to do the same as you because I'm buying these, okay? Um, they look, no, they're all saying you can't buy it. I know. We, when the f n numbers go down and they, they, we show you the selling price, then you've got to get in because 30 seconds and people miss out. These are absolutely. There you are. They'd look wonderful in a kitchen. Uh, wonderful in a bedroom, ideal in a bathroom, okay, absolutely wonderful in a bathroom. She's they're going to hand done, they're hand right, so what would happen is you, the programme would be like this, right? I'd never fucking buy anything, but um, uh, postage, eight quid. It's something like, oh, it starts off at, at, at that, right? They've got a hundred to get rid of, starts off at 40 quid. And then, oh, the prices went down to 30 quid or something, or 25, well, you better get them. Get them now. Absolutely wonderful Price there. crash. There. And then that number would go down. And all the rest of it. Hand done. They're hand carved. They are beautiful, wild. I mean, I don't know what the psychology behind it was. As if, oh, here they've dropped it. But anyway, I was watching this once. But so you can see. There you go. It's only fourteen eighty nine. Dialing through a great buy. All right. Now, right, fourteen ninety nine. Now you need to be dialing the number now. Now the number is oh. No. So he's going to buy them himself, oh, look. I've got the wood look. I've got the wood. Press right. One now. Anyway, so I was watching that. And what was it? It I'm was something. I don't know what. He was like selling. Because it what were they selling? It, 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 
um, sell, selling something like, um, I, I don't know, fucking anything, a bit of technology or a picture, cutlery, some shit like that, right? And it was like on sale for something like um, 50 quid. And and I, I was watching it one night and the price, and it's he he just sort of yapping away. And he's always got something like, there's a, a kind of a, a, another person there. Uh, usually a woman that's sort of like there, that sort of like comes on as a, you know, a, a, like a kind of sidekick or something like that or chips in. They don't ever really say, they, they don't ever go like that. Oh, that's, they just sort of reply to them. That's really good, isn't it, Soph? Yeah, it looks great. You know, like that. And I remember he was doing it one night, it was like 50, 50 quid or something like that. I don't know if I've told this exciting story before. Guy, he used to be on Children's Tale, he used to be, I what was it called? Um, challenge, um, no, Double double Dare or something like that, and other things. I have, well, I'm going to tell that again. Run the risk. Uh, and it was like 50 quid, and then he sort of yapping away, and then it went down to like 8.99. It, 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 or it, something like it went for 60 quid. It was like jewellery or something. I think it was actually jewellery. It went down for something like 60 quid, down to 8.99. And he was like this as he was talking, and then he's sort of like yapping, and then he spots it's went down to 8 99 and he, he goes like this, he went like this, I mean, it's great, Julia, is it? That's, that, can, that, that can't be right, that's, that, that, that's, that's, that can't be right, like that, he was like, like pure, like, he wasn't he like smiling or laughing, but he's obviously, like, uh, and it's part of the whole fucking, kind of, routine in a way, and he's like, that, no, that's no, that's a, that's a mistake. And he went like, that's got to be a, a mistake. And he went like that uh, to the woman. He went, hey, what was it? He went like, that, that's got to be a mistake. And you held off, you held her off camera going like that. My giddy aunt. Which is some sort of Northern English exclamation or, you know, astonishment. My giddy aunt. She went, my giddy aunt. And he went, have you seen this, self? Remember I'm saying that? Have you seen this, self? And she went, yeah, I'm just checking with, you just heard the go like, I'm just checking with the floor manager to see if it's right. I just get, I, I quote that all the time. I just walk about the house saying that now and again for no reason. Have you seen this, self? Yeah, I'm just checking with the floor manager to see if it's right. And he was like this for, for a while. That, that's, well, good. He was like, just go for it. Not everybody got the same price. Everybody got the same price once it was all done. He was like, what? that's it's got to be a mistake. Just go. Go for it. He was like, go for it. Well done if you get it. Um, there's a lot of chattering on the floor right now uh, in the gallery. And it, he said there's a lot of chattering on the floor and in the gallery... And he did this. He actually went like this. Well done. Well done if you get it. He he, did, he put his tongue in the in his middle heart. As if um, everybody's lost their fucking head in here. Some, something's went. He didn't look pissed off. But kind of like, this is a total fuck up. But, you know, take advantage of it. It's yours. It's yours for the taking. Um... There's a lot of, lot of talking uh, in the gallery. Uh, well done. Well done again if you got it. And they all sold it. Well done if you got it. Uh, see you after this. And then it went to like a wee kind of advert thing and then he came back. I had that recorded. Because, you know, on, on the kind of, what do you call it? DVR or whatever the fuck it's called. Kind of Sky Plus but no Sky Plus. I, I, I would, anything interesting happened, I'd fucking rewind it and hit record and then just kind of get that. I watched that a million fucking times, that club. I loved it. I loved it. And there was another one. I'm going to go back to the game in a second. There was another one where he was trying to sell a painting of two lions. It was a lion and a lioness. And he was like, and it was in a picture frame, comes with a frame. And he was saying... 
as we see, is the lioness as she snuggles in to her mate, something like that, for protection, for warmth, 1899, for food, like that, you know, it's, is it not the, the, the lion, the, the male lion that just sort of lies about then fuck all when the lioness actually goes out and does all the, the killing and the hunting, I don't know, but, um, and you know, the camera would move slowly about the painting, and he would he interrupt himself. He always had the habit of interrupting himself. He'd always be like, hey, look there at the, the painting. Oh, 0800, 256, You know, he'd sort of interrupt himself with that. He'd also say, not only is it something, not only is it something, uh, 0892, and then go off into something else. He would, he'd be like, what? Not only is it this, not only is it that, but it's also, what, say the fucking thing. But I remember this one. I had this recorded and I played it again and again and again. The camera went down to the like the, the, the lion's face and its eyes. And he was like that. I said, you know, this is a beautiful. And look at those eyes. I quote that all the time, walking about this. Look at those eyes. And the best bit was it went, it, the price dropped down to like fucking 9 99 right? It started at 30 quid. And, and he said, at 8 99 I mean, it's worth it just for the frame alone. And uh, me and Lynn Lin found that particularly funny because what an insult to the fucking artist who made the fucking painting. Eight, 8 99 or whatever it was, it's worth it just for the frame alone. Just get it for the fucking frame if you don't even like the fucking chitty picture in it. Um. I mean, it's worth it for the frame. It was fucking right. It's worth it for it. Just get it. It's worth it for the frame alone. Just get it. Take a picture out and just swap it for some, something else. Fucking brilliant. I advise you, see if you're, in, see if you're watching the telly night, you're like, let's fuck all on. Consider one of these uh, shopping channels just to sit there. Don't buy it. Just sit there. And all you hear is positive things about how this, this thing's really good. It's really good. It can help with this. It can help with that. And it's good if you're just, you know, if you, let's say you're just in, there's somebody speaking to somebody else. You know, just let's say you're in the kitchen and you just, you've not really got the time. You, you're, you're not about really... You know, you've got your hands up, maybe you've got grease on them or butter or something like that. You just, you know, it's, it, you know, it's, you know what it's like when you're like with the elbows. It's just really good for the, uh, and, and, and you're watching it like that. 